All right, everyone, now it's time for something that actually riled me up a little bit. Like, when I saw it, I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. George W. Bush comes out. Warmongering, miscreant, literal criminal, genocidal maniac, uh, fuckwad who doesn't know how to balance a budget. He's just totally off the wall. He comes out and says, well, <laughs> I'm disturbed by this immigration debate thing going on because immigrants bring so much good to the United States and I think that it's really regrettable the sort of conversation that we's having right now. Uh, that's funny. So yeah, again, you're not disturbed by hundreds of thousands of people getting slaughtered over in the Middle East. You're not disturbed. Remember when border crossing came out? I don't know. Probably a lot of you are too young to remember this. Border crossing was a little flash game that uh, sort of went viral on the internet. And in uh, the era preceding, like the torture game, and some of the stuff that we have now, maybe a crush the castle or whatever. Some of these little games that people make and then they go viral for a while. You know, Candy Crush Saga, whatever. Uh, there was a game called Border Crossing and the whole goal of the game was that you were supposed to defend the U.S. border with a gun uh, because there were Mexicans trying to get over the little border that you were guarding and they had like sombreros and then there were uh, like, like pregnant female Mexicans with their kids. And it's like it was totally, you know, bigoted in the most literal sense. I don't think we should ban such things, but it was, it was a caricature, a stereotype very much. This comes up, Bush never said anything. Wasn't that regrettable, Mr. Bush? Now, hey, George, was it regrettable that people were playing a game in high school that was basically about shooting immigrants? Oh, no, you didn't care about that because, you know, you were president at the time. You didn't want to rock the boat. You just wanted to go off and kill other people in third world countries. Don't fucking give me any bullshit about pretending to be a moralist. Bush has tried this before. It's like when he comes out, like, I'm not going to endorse, you know, uh, Trump and Herbert Walker leaks, you know, through Kennedy's daughter there uh, or nef uh, niece or whatever. Uh, basically, while well, I'm voting for Hillary Clinton, it's like, yeah, of course the Bushes are going to vote for the Clintons. They have a lot in common, those people. They're dynastic. They're corrupt. They love war. Uh, they think that they're owed their political positions. Like Jeb, you know, for all of his weird, you know, ineptitude, all of his turtle man sort of act, he's sort of like W. He's a little bit less verbally coherent than his older brother. Um, and also he's actually in office. It's like basically daddy was a president, brother was a president. I want to be president too, says Jeb in his uh, fucking Brian Griffin voice. And of course he can't even win South Carolina. So fuck you. Good. Keep him out of politics for the rest of time. They should kick him out as governor too. Impeach the bastard. I have nothing but contempt to offer anyone in the Bush family. I don't even care if it's their extended family. Like, you're, you're a second cousin to George W. Well, fuck you, too. That's basically what I would have to say. George W. Bush was the worst thing in modernity to happen to the United States. If you think that he suddenly becomes the good guy because he's like, well, heh heh, darn that old Donald Trump, he's a big orange meanie. Yeah, fuck that. That's bullshit. It's complete and utter unending bullshit. And you know that it's bullshit. Like, I saw people on the uh, uh, story, CNN post on Twitter, about George W. saying this. Some people are like, well, it's odd that Bush is now the good guy. No, he's not a good guy. He led to the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, crushed the U.S. economy, began the debt crisis, abandoned all of fucking New Orleans during Katrina, leaving 100,000 people stranded and tens of thousands had to literally flee their own homes and march to hither knows where... That's George W. Bush. George W. Bush was a raging lunatic, a warmongering asshole puppet for Dick Cheney. And you think he's the good guy because he kind of echoes your sentiment on immigration? No, maybe that means you need to take a look at whether your sentiment is good, whether you're the good guy, whether your side is right. I don't think you are. No, I think the reason why George W., is disturbed by people debating over whether to defend the fucking border is because he's a globalist. He wants cheap labor to come in to be exploited. He and Dick Cheney love illegal immigrants because they can work them to death in a fucking mine or in an oil field or in a grocery store. They can set up sweatshops in the basements of their legit looking businesses and make money on the side paying people 50 cents a day. That's fundamentally why he cares about the issue. He never talked about it when he was president. He's like, yeah, well, we need to defend the border and stuff. And everyone knew it was just talk. It was never actually going to happen. The, the only person in modern politics since Reagan who has actually even tried to tackle the issue is Donald Trump. That's why people are pissed, because Bush looked the other way. He did the typical neocon thing. He's like, he talks a big game. We need E-Verify. We need a border wall. We need to deport people who are criminals. 
and he never did any of these things, and the problem got worse and worse and worse. And Obama never... Obama went even further. Obama said, hey, you know, fuck ICE. I'm not even going to uh, do what I'm being paid to do. I'm not even going to execute the law. The duly passed laws of Congress regarding immigration, I'm just going to ignore them. And the reason why we have a problem now is because of several administrations not tackling the issue. It gets worse and worse. Trump's like, ah, oh, finally, you know, I'm going to put my feet down. I'm going to stop this from continuing, build a wall and, and, you know, crack down on the sanctuary cities. And now all of a sudden people think he's mean for enforcing laws written by incarnations of Congress going back to the Reagan era. That's why Trump is mean for, for, you know, following the rule of law, for not wanting to legislate via executive order. They used to call W an imperial president when he was in there because he used to do that shit too. Obama did it 10 times more. Obama was nuts. Yeah, you know, part of it was he was being obstructed, but you know, there's a reason why, because the American people wanted you to be. They didn't want you to pass your shitty laws because they thought you were shitty and Bush was 10 times shittier than Obama. Bush is literally the worst modern president, not Trump. Trump's doing okay. Look at what he's accomplishing. Has the economy collapsed? No. Well, I guess he's better on money than Bush. Is he at least trying to tackle immigration? Well, then he's better than Bush, at least less inept. Has he started a couple of wars on credit? No, he hasn't done that either. I'd say I like him a lot more than George W. And I'll be fucking dead and damned before I care what any Bush says about a moral issue. Uh, it, not just immigration. It's like, okay, this is what you're choosing to grandstand and try to whitewash your legacy of uh, piles of skulls over in the Middle East. It's, it's Bush's legacy. Half a million people dead in Iraq. Tens of thousands of dead Afghanis. Tens of thousands of soldiers coming back here either in caskets or with grievous injuries they'll never recover from. People with their fucking skin melted off. People with PTSD. They hear a firework go off and they fucking roll under their bed and grab their gun. That's Bush's legacy. Bush's legacy is, is five trillion in debt before he left office pissing away a surplus. Bush's legacy is the, the entire job market totally collapsing at the end of his presidency, leaving a mess for Obama to fix, and Obama's too dumb to fix it. That's Bush's legacy. Bush's legacy is lying straight up to the entire nation to start his fucking wars for Dick Cheney and Halliburton. So yeah, you'll be, you'll excuse me if I don't care about what he says about the immigration issue. You're not, you're not in office. Bush isn't president anymore, thank goodness. Jeb's not president, thank goodness. Thank goodness Trump came along and put the kibosh to that. Even if Trump weren't in, I don't think Jeb would have gotten it. There were so many people like, no more Bushes, no more Clintons. It's like with the Democratic field. Hillary Clinton could win with two-thirds of the, the will of the Democrats because no viable competitor came along. Jeb still had to spar with Rubio, who was younger, Ted, who was more smart, and Rand, who was far more coherent. So I don't think it would have gone well for him. Yeah, he might have gotten South Carolina. I don't think he would have even gotten that. I think he would have been stuck in the uh, low double digit. He would have been stuck in the uh, the ten something club. Oh, I've got approval of fifteen percent within the Republican Party. I think I can pull this off. Yeah, you know, second, you know, close only counts in horseshoes, Jeb. You came close in a couple states, early states. After that, you just fucking collapsed. Thank goodness he'll never be our president. Thank goodness we'll never have a Clinton in office again either. No, I have nothing but contempt for both of these warmongering asshole families. That's what they are, and that's how they should be remembered. George W. has managed to go up a few levels in presidential ranking simply for saying he doesn't like Trump. Yeah, think of it. People are so deranged about Donald Trump that they're actually starting to think, well, George W. wasn't that bad. He fucked the economy and started several wars on false pretenses, you know. He collapsed the job market, killed hundreds of thousands of people, he lied to us all, started the modern police state, passed the Patriot Act, it's bullshit, he pissed away the surplus, he ripped apart every fabric of our culture and turned us into a bunch of fucking uh, vegetables. Oh, but he wasn't that bad, he wasn't Donald Trump, you know, he was <laughs> quickly building up to a surplus who hasn't started any wars, who so far has major scandal as other people fucked with the election, maybe. That's Trump's problem. No, I'd say I'm going to take Trump, uh, you know, 100 times out of 100 over W. Then again, I would take literally, I would take W's daddy over W. That's how bad he was. And Herbert Walker was an asshole too. I'm glad that he's old and decrepit and, and, and sad probably at this point. Hopefully, you know, you know, Herbert Walker, the one person he probably ever gave a damn about was his wife. You need, so please, as soon as possible, kick off and go follow her. You know, maybe she can drag you out of hell temporarily up up to the pearly gates because she's the only bush that's worth a damn. That's about all. Peace out.